I think the Bridge Conference is a, an excellent conference. I mean, it brings together world-class speakers. It brings together the best of America. It's still got a very personal touch to it. It engages its delegates. And I think if you come here and you just throw yourself into it, you're going to go out a happy, inspired and informed person. So when we created the Bridge Conference, the idea was to create what I call a big tent, where lots of different people with lots of different backgrounds and disciplines would be able to come together, share experiences, and learn from each other. I think we've been waiting for a long time to have a conference in the States that is of the quality and, frankly, the quantity of the conferences that they have in Europe. Um, we do have you know, over 75 sessions at the Bridge Conference, all of which are world-class speakers. And up until this point, it was very difficult, I think, to pinpoint a conference that would offer that kind of variety and depth of information in the educational sessions. The Bridge Conference is probably the best conference we have all year in Washington. It's the only conference that combines marketing and fundraising, and that's really critical for our firm. The conference concept here is that we, when you marry fundraising with direct marketing, and uh, you, you form a bridge to integrated direct marketing, as this conference is intended to do, you bring in people who are looking for a true understanding of the, the latest, un, latest concepts in fundraising uh, for individuals. What the Bridge Conference does is it actually lays out a very well-structured program, a very well-structured infrastructure so that you can actually do the networking, go to the sessions, you can catch up with friends in between. So the harder you work at a conference, the more you get out of it. A lot of stuff happens here. There's a lot of new thinking. The fact that we're bridging, just in the kind of the nature of the conference itself and the nature of the term of what we're trying to do here, we're trying to break down barriers. We're trying to break down those silos that we traditionally see in fundraising, marketing, communications, and say, listen, guys, this is all about the opportunity to work horizontally to work together and to share ideas across organizations so that we can be more powerful. Very few conferences in the world actually do that. So that's one of the reasons that I like the bridge so much. It means that you're having conversations with people from all sorts of areas, all sorts of walks of life, um, and all sorts of ways of looking at the dream of fundraising, communication, and mobilization. Uh, the bridge conference isn't just about fundraising. It's about all types of marketing and communication particularly focused on direct response, but all types of marketing and communication. I think a lot of the other conferences struggle to place in speakers to fill slots. Uh, I speak at a lot of conferences. Bridge Conference has a much more exclusive selection process. Uh, they're bringing in top industry leaders. They have a lot more nonprofits who are on the cutting edge and learning things from them you don't get in many other experiences. Uh, this is now the second largest fundraising conference in the world and one of the largest direct response marketing conferences in the United States. And so you basically draw the very best speakers because they want that audience. They want to be exposed to that type of an audience. And they also want to be part of a, a product that's a better product. I hear from some of the most well-known speakers that are here, the kind of people who elsewhere will draw a fee of $10,000 to go speak and come here on their own dime in order to speak. And I hear from them the reason they come is because of the audience. I think the caliber of the speakers is tremendous. There are some whom I recognize from other national conferences, and so it's a wonderful endorsement of the type of work and the type of caliber of speaker that you bring in. One of the things that I like about it is that it's practitioners speaking to fellow practitioners. So there's a lot of engagement back and forth between the speakers and the audience, and there are people who are doing the things that we all want to be doing. I mean, the, the amount of bang that you get for your buck out of this show is really incredible. The number of sessions, the diversity of sessions, the quality of the speakers is just second to none. Uh, the only way that I would get access for my team for some, to some of these speakers is to fly them across the pond and have them attend international shows. And here we get to drive 20 minutes and stay for three days and come back with months and months worth of innovative ideas to use with our clients, and, and that is incredible value for me. Actually, what, what attracts me here is the, the quality of the program. I, I think I'm seeing this as being a program that is genuinely international, that stands alongside IFC, 
the AFP International Conference, the South African event. I mean, this, this is now a programme that stands in that, that pantheon of the top four or five. So that attracts me, both as, as someone who wants to have those kinds of um, opportunities to speak, but also that I can hear people here that I can't hear anyone else. So that's, it's absolutely a place where I want to be. The biggest reason I come to the Bridge Conference as well is because I love being inspired by leading fundraisers in the field. So whether you're in the hallways in between sessions, whether you're having a beer at the bar downstairs, or whether you're in the elevator riding up to your room, you're engaging with people who you respect, admire, idolize, and quite frankly, want to steal ideas from. The Bridge Conference brings a lot of the more senior people out that you typically wouldn't see at some of the functions throughout the year at other seminars. The Bridge Conference has really great networking opportunities because everybody's here. All of the, all of the uh, folks that we work with attend this conference, and so it's a really good opportunity to sit down and catch up and find out what's working. Networking is uh, another word for gossiping, and there's lots of available information through gossip, and that's, of course, one of the attractive under-the-table features of the Bridge Conference. This is definitely a good show for us. Uh, it will definitely be the the best that we'll have this year. Having been to a couple shows already this year and looking back at, uh, at last year's shows, this is the place to be. In fact, a lot of education occurs in the exhibit hall. Uh, a lot of people learn from the exhibitors how it is that they can do things that they've heard about but they didn't know how to implement. The reason we call it the Solution Showcase is that it is about finding solutions for all different kinds of, of challenges that people have been facing back in their, in their offices, and they come here and they're able to survey the landscape and look at a variety of different solutions that may help them deal with those circumstances. You have at this conference people that are decision makers, and if you are an exhibitor and you have a product that you'd like to, to show off and sell, then you want people that are decision makers being available to you and you'll want to be where cutting edge thinking is going on because you'll want to know what's going on so you can plan your product array for the future or you can go to a session, hear a world renowned speaker talk about a particular product or, or activity that they're engaged in and then you can go back down to your exhibit booth and have a bunch of people come by and you can say, we do what he was talking about. Everyone is here who can help you do your job better, and as an exhibitor, you will be in contact with those who are making the buying decisions and representing millions of pieces of mail and millions of dollars of business. I think the idea they called it a solution showcase this year, which is quite a neat idea, just to really put a focus on the, an exhibition. It isn't just about sales, it's about learning, it's about networks, and it's about making contacts with people who might be useful to you in your professional career. In today's culture, it's uh, the day of knocking on doors, and making sales calls is kind of extinct. So it's, uh, it's, an, it's, a, it's a better way to get to in front of your potential prospect. For activist organizations, for organizations engaged in public policy, for organizations that uh, tend to have very uh, strong dependence on direct marketing, particularly direct mail and now online fundraising, uh, uh, Washington is the center of the universe. And uh, the fact that the conference is right here and is in close proximity to the headquarters of so many of these organizations is a huge plus. I think the Bridge Conference does offer a good return on investment. I think that in today's times we don't get to see each other enough. I'm from um, maybe the old school where there's a lot more interaction face to face and everything is done behind a computer screen. Everything is email and, um, and telephone. Um, and this is, for me, a great opportunity to get to see people um, that I normally wouldn't get a chance to interact with and, and get to see you know, colleagues that I've, I've known for years. I think the Bridge Conference is the best bargain for your professional development dollars in the country, bar none. You definitely get your money's worth at the Bridge Conference.